Hey everyone, Omri here and welcome to another video. Today's video is extra boring. It's pretty much just me stretching for about 20 minutes. Now thank God I made it faster, so it's not as long as it was before. While this footage is running, I'll talk today a little bit about what I feel internally when I stretch. The intensity of the feeling, the location of the feeling, the interpretation of the feeling. My guess is that a lot of people who are trying to stretch get to the place where they need to be in order to stretch but the pain is so weird and unfamiliar and uncomfortable that it just feels like too much i'll also share with you a couple of secrets that make it a little easier to get into these stretches and stay in them if you like this video please hit subscribe and leave your comments below you can stretch at any age no matter how tight you are it's great for stress relief for mental tension as well as physical tension. Stretching effectively requires guidance from someone who can direct you, consistency, understanding that muscles can only stretch so much each time, but over time they can stretch quite a bit, and faith that even when it feels like there's no progress, there is, and that this is the right path towards it. Yoga movements are a series of dynamic stretches, moving joints through their full functional range of motion. I often describe it as a dance because of its playful nature and for the unique expression it finds in each person. Stretching is a skill, and acquiring it can initially feel weird, awkward, and uncomfortable. One of the secrets to making stretching work is not to go too deep to begin with. Going too deep can make it feel uncomfortable to hold for even a short time. Find a comfortable stretch position and hold it for a bit. Explore how the rest of you feels compared to how the stretched area feels. Pay close attention to caution cues from your teachers. Over time, it will help you map your movement in a way that prevents unnecessary strain. Once stretching gets a bit more comfortable, Realize that now you have two stretching modes, comfortable and uncomfortable. It would be best to be somewhere in between. When I stretch, there are many things that go through my head. My mind is very focused and my breath is controlled. Paying attention to specifics as well as the bigger picture simultaneously is a skill that you develop by continuously looking for the edge. I think of my body as a high-performance car and the practice is like taking it out on the racetrack. I don't push too hard to begin with, but I'm there to play. So barring any alarming feelings that require me to adjust and slow down, I start to speed up and test my boundaries gradually and consistently. And if all systems are go, I let myself fly. Left to right, front to back, every stretch goes into another stretch. And in the moment, there's always time to slow down just enough to find that space between too little and too much. When you understand stretching, the quality of your work on the mat increases significantly. Not everybody gets the phrase, pull in your pelvic floor or stretch your adductors, but as your body adjusts, it learns. And before you know it, there's an extra inch 
in the range of motion and you're closing that gap. It's a process that requires patience. Some days you'll make progress. Other days you'll be happy to just get a light stretch in. The good news is you have the rest of your life to get better at it. I believe that staying limber adds years to your life. I'm not a doctor, but I know enough from my own body that when everything works better, I feel better and I can feel that I have stronger command over my body and my health. Yoga and mindfulness have many layers. And when you add your stretching intelligence and technique to other important core factors, which I will talk about in future videos, your yoga practice becomes transformational. Stretching might be that challenge today. And it might feel tough to begin with. But every layer that you add will have a learning curve. Once you get over that initial hump, you'll see that all beginnings are similar in many ways and that the same success principles apply to all of them. If you're committed to stretching, watch a few great videos online, on YouTube. See how different people approach it. Bodies are different. And it's always good to find a way that speaks to you. Be inspired by other people's progress. Don't assume that every bendy person was born that way. Some people like me work on it very hard. For example, I always wanted to do the splits. After 10 years of practice, I still can't. But I can do many other difficult postures that I never knew existed. Start. See where it takes you. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And don't forget to check out my other videos. And to subscribe to my channel for more videos about yoga and mindfulness. Thanks for watching.